Okay, so great to speak with both of you today. I have to say, I love looking at your little one. Well, that sounds weird. I love seeing all the cute <laughs> photos of your little ones online. You seem like such a happy family. Thank you. Where are the little ones today? Are you, did you have to leave them behind? They are at home with his parents who are yep. very hands-on. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they're in good hands, but we definitely miss them. But I was going nice to say, are we missing away. them being yeah. away? Oh, we are missing them a lot. And it's actually, uh, you know, like when we get this time away mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. our kids, you know, like we have, you know, like we forget sometimes. But we forget that we have kids. <laughs> but we have kids and it's so... <laughs> we have so much fun. Yeah, but like at the that. airport, like we're checking, like, you know, like yeah. the security is going fast and it's so uh -huh. wonderful, yeah. Sometimes, but like you're miss missing them. something. Like, wait, what did I forget? <laughs> yeah. And what's both of your favorite parts about being parents? It seems like you're both really hands-on. We do, we do. We spend a lot of time with our uh, kids because uh, I think uh, you know, like we prioritize, you know, like their, you know, like their lives. Mm -hmm. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, like as parents, mm -hmm. that's what we need to do. All everybody, and uh, you know, like um, I, I think, I think the kids are, you know, like actually recently, Winston got very very attached to me mm -hmm. and elizabeth over yep. here is getting a little bit jealous because uh, she doesn't like when he's uh, my little boy <laughs> but i just really it's, getting attached. it's really rewarding being a parent mm -hmm. and just to know that those are your little babies that you created mm -hmm. it's just there's no feeling like it and it's very just, proud of it there's so much fun and you can travel and like do whatever you mm -hmm. want you can snuggle <laughs> them you can you know like make food for them. Yeah, but it's also scary because it's like I'm raising mm -hmm. these little humans. Yeah, Don't they're growing mess it up, up so fast. <laughs> for yeah, sure. but we're here for the long run. That's it. Yeah. 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 Well, all your posts are so cute with them. So Thank anyway, you. It's so great to see you both grow in that way. I was also going to ask, um, despite all the drama on the show, you both have really proved yourselves. You're both going so strong. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the key to your successful relationship? Uh, I mean, look, uh, we're, we're not going to say what we have our you know, like we have our fights. Yeah, we, we have well, that's with every marriage, everybody. You know, every everybody. marriage is that, hard. It's, right. It is hard. She says it's constant work. I says, I say to her, listen, work is good, but you have to, you know, like to make it as less as possible and just optimize it. I'm all about optimization. So we sometimes we, we butt heads hard. We don't speak with each other for a couple of days, you know, like, and um, that's my method of treatment. But, but we <laughs> make it a point to take those dates yeah. and just try to stay in the honeymoon phase yes. and just constantly date each other. I mean, we were best friends first, yeah. so I feel like we just have to withhold that and just we We'll try to do the seven, seven, seven rule. Every seven days on a date, mm -hmm. every seven, uh, you know, like... It's more like seven months, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seven well, with kids, it's hard, I feel it like, is, It's harder. Yeah. Easier said than done, but yeah. we just always have to remind ourselves so the spark doesn't So what, the rule is like this, seven days you're going to date, seven weeks you go like on a couple of days mm -hmm. without the kids. And in seven, uh, seven like months, you go on a vacation for a week without kids. So mm -hmm. like that's how you survive, right? I'm still waiting for that vacation. <laughs> <laughs> We're working, okay? <laughs> now you both have been on the franchise for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, what advice would you both give to some of the newer cast members? I know we have a bunch of new casts um, on the before the ninety days. Honestly, we are so happy that it's been so long, but it's also like, oh my gosh, that was so long ago, and we didn't obviously see it coming, but. I would say you cannot care what people think. You can't worry about, you know, you're going to have haters, you're going to have <laughs> supporters, but you're going to have more haters than not. <laughs> so I would say just keep doing your thing and don't let anyone stop you or get in your head because if you do, then it will mess you up. But yeah. just enjoy the ride. <laughs> well, being in the public eye, it's uh, always like a challenge. Some people mm -hmm. think that it's uh, easy, but it's not. Mm -mm. You know, like mm -hmm. it's, you have to have thick skin for this because yeah. uh, you know, like some uh, sometimes people can get to you. I treated uh, you know, like I treated as uh, yeah. you know, like as uh, just somebody like in the room you know, when it's a camera. And that's that's all it is. It's a business. It's a business. That was that also leads to my next question. I was going to say some of the 90 day fans can be a little bit wild on social media. Mm -hmm. How do you handle the trolls and critics online? I feel like they are not. They do not hold back. They are. They are really, really ruthless. You're, you're right. Um, <laughs> but we honestly, love it. We, we love it. You we know what? We love it. We are happy that you took the time out of your day to give me your sweet comment. <laughs> That's what we always say. We're like, oh, it's so nice. But we don't really read a lot of it. Um, I think I we just, we just got it. into this system where we just don't read it. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, but obviously people send us stuff and they're like, did you see this? Did you see that? And I'm like, 
Don't care. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, you're uh, uh, being of a public eye is bound that somebody's gonna p give your opinion. Yeah. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. It's okay. Right. You can say like my stuff about my appearance. You know, like it's it's fine. You know, like it's you're you're not gonna say anything in person. I know for sure. So it's all good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At the end of the day, it boosts the engagement on social anyway. So exactly. right? it, it is what it is. <laughs> there's no bad marketing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, now, there's been a lot of drama that's been unfolding in the 90 day universe, mm -hmm. especially on the most recent season of Happily Ever After. Mm -hmm. um, fans were really shocked with how things ended with Michael and Angela. Um, yeah. What did you both think watching that? Were you shocked? Well, you know, I... you go ahead, babe. Actually, you have a stronger opinion on this than I do. Why don't you go ahead? Well, you know, I met Angela mm -hmm. like a couple of times uh, yeah. through all our journey on a franchise. But it was like three years ago when we had that uh, HEA together and I told her I was in the car and I was like, listen, she, she was still trying to, to, bring, the, uh, to, bring, to, to bring the husband into mm -hmm. America. And I was like, listen, if he's going to come here, I really, really expect him like not to you know, like stay. to, to stay with you. Mm -hmm. I was like, I, I, I just had a feeling. I was like, I've I seen this before. I seen yeah. it like there's like there's a pattern over here, but he will not. You know, like he will not stay with you. Like, oh, oh, and she was like, no, yeah. I have to keep trying. She's like, and she's look on the, her hard appearance outside. She's a sweet lady inside. Like yeah. she cries. You know, like she told me like, but she put like a house full of gifts for him, and she was like expecting you know, like the. You know, I don't know, like what She's happened. You know, like I think they're you know, like they're both a fault over there. There's something like there's. Well, you know, like it takes two to tango, but I definitely um, wish her the best, and I think that she deserves someone to be with because she does have such a caring heart. Mm -hmm. She may be outspoken and yell and scream, but. She's just very passionate, is how I look at yeah. it, yeah. and I think that she's such a sweet person, with us anyway. Um, yeah. But yeah, I just think that she really deserves someone to just be with her forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You and really she's not young. She's not a young person. You yeah. know, like she's like almost sixty. You know, like it's a, you know, like she was looking really for somebody to spend their life, and mm -hmm. that's why the sadness part is, because yeah. she was really expecting that, and she was like putting her heart to me. She's like. I really want this to ha to work, and when I saw that, I was like, ah, oh, it's like makes me mad because, you know, like she's really hurt. Like look at her face mm -hmm. now, like she's just like she's she aged like through this relationship. Yeah. She, aged, she aged so much. Yeah, well, you know? cigarettes don't help, but yeah. <laughs>